Habib Tanvir, the 1st of September 1923 to the 8th of June 2009, was one of the most popular Indian Urdu, Hindi playwrights, a theatre director, poet, and actor. He was the writer of plays such as Agra Bazaar (1954) and Charanda's Chore (1975). A pioneer in Urdu and Hindi theatre, he was most known for his work with Chattisgari Tribals at the Naya Theatre, a theatre company he founded in 1959 in Bhopal. He went on to include indigenous performance forms such as Nacha, to create not only a new theatrical language, but also milestones such as Charanda's Chore, Gaon Ka Nam Sasoral, More Nam Damad, and Kamdio Ka Apna Basant Ritu Ka Sapna. For him, true, theatre of the people existed in the villages, which he strived to bring to the urban, educated, employing both folk performers as actors alongside urban actors. He died on 8 June 2009 at Bhopal after a three-week-long illness. Upon his death, he was the last of pioneering actor-managers in Indian theatre, which included Sasir Baduri, Yukpal Dutt and Prithviraj Kapoor, and often he managed plays with a mammoth cast, such as Charanda's Chore, which included an orchestra of 72 people on stage and Agra Bazaar, with 52 people. During his lifetime he won several national and international awards, including the Sangeet Natak Akademi Award in 1969, Jawaharlal Nehru Fellowship in 1979, Padma Shri in 19. 1983, Kalidas Salmon 1990, Sangeet Natak Akademi Fellowship in 1996, and the Padma Bhushan in 2002. Apart from that he had also been nominated to become a member of the Upper House of Indian Parliament, the Raja Sabha 1972 his play Charanda's Chore Charandas, the Thief, won him the Fringe Firsts Award at Edinburgh International Drama Festival in 1982, and in 2007, it was included in the Hindustan Times list of India's 60 Best Works Since Independence which said, "...an innovative dramaturgy equally impelled by Brecht and folk idioms, Habib Tanvir seduces across language barriers in this his all-time biggest hit about a Robin Hood-style thief." As Topic Biography Topic Early Life He was born in Raipur, Chhattisgarh, erstwhile Madhya Pradesh, to Hafiz Ahmed Khan, who hailed from Peshawar. He passed his matriculation from Lori Municipal High School, Raipur, and later completed his BA from Morris College, Nagpur, in 1944. Thereafter he studied M.A. for a year at Aligarh Muslim University. Early in life, he started writing poetry using his pen name Takhalas. Soon after, he assumed his name, Habib Tanvir. Career <laughs> 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 In 1945, he moved to Bombay, and joined All India Radio Air Bombay as a producer. While in Bombay, he wrote songs for Urdu and Hindi films and even acted in a few of them. He also joined the Progressive Writers Association and became an integral part of Indian People's Theatre Association as an actor. Later, when most of the prominent IPTA members were imprisoned for opposing the British rule, he was asked to take over the organisation. In 1954, he moved to New Delhi, and worked with Kudsia Zaidi's Hindustani Theatre, and also worked with Children's Theatre, where he authored many plays. Later in the same year, he produced his first significant play Agra Bazaar based on the works and times of the plebeian 18th-century Urdu poet, Nazir Akbarabadi, an older poet in the generation of Mirza Ghalib. For this play he brought together local residents and folk artistes from Okla village in Delhi and students of Jamia Milia Islamia creating a palette never seen before in Indian theatre. Additionally, the play was not staged in a confined space, rather a bazaar, a marketplace. After this, he continued to work with non-trained actors and folk artistes like the folk artists of Chhattisgarh. Stay in Europe. In 1955, when he was in his thirties, Habib moved to England. There, he trained in acting at Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts 1955, and in direction at Bristol Old Vic Theatre School 1956. For the next two years, he travelled through Europe, watching various theatre activities. 
One of the highlights of this period, was his eight-month stay in Berlin in 1956, during which he got to see several plays of Bertolt Brecht, produced by Berliner Ensemble, just a few months after Brecht's death. This proved to have a lasting influence on him, as in the coming years, he started using local idioms in his plays, to express trans-cultural tales and ideologies. This, over the years, gave rise to a theater of roots, which was marked by an utter simplicity in style, presentation and technique, yet remaining eloquent and powerfully experiential. Return to India A deeply inspired Habib returned to India in 1958 and took to directing full-time. He produced Midi Ki Gaudiya post-London play, based on Shudraka's Sanskrit work, Murashakadika. It became his first important production in Chattisgarhi. This was the result of the work he had been doing since his return, working with six folk actors from Chattisgarh. He went on to found Naya Theatre, a theatre company in 1959. In his exploratory phase, i.e. 1970-73, he broke free from one more theatre restriction, he no longer made the folk artists, who had been performing in all his plays, speak Hindi. Instead, the artists switched to Chattisgari, a local language they were more accustomed to. Later, he even started experimenting with Pandavani, a folk singing style from the region and temple rituals. This made his plays stand out amidst the gamut of plays which still employed traditional theatre techniques like blocking movements or fixing lights on paper. Spontaneity and improvisation became the hallmark of his new theatre style, where the folk artists were allowed greater freedom of expression. His next venture with Chattisgari Natch style, saw another breakthrough in 1972, with a staging of the play titled Gaon Ka Nam Sasoral, More Nam Damod. This was based on a comic folk tale, where an old man falls in love with a young woman, who eventually elopes with another young man. By the time he produced his seminal play, Chiranda's Chore in 1975, the technique became popular. This play immediately established a whole new idiom in modern India theatre, whose highlight was Natch, a chorus that provided commentary through song. He also brought in Govind Ram Nirmalkar, a noted Nacha artist who would later go on to win Padma Shri and Sangeet Natak Akademi Awards, to play the lead role. Later, he collaborated with Shyam Benegal, when he adapted the play to a feature-length film, by the same name, starring Smita Patil and Lalu Ram. He was awarded the prestigious Jawaharlal Nehru Fellowship in 1979 for research on relevance of tribal performing arts and their adaptability to a changing environment. In 1980, he directed the play Modi Ram Ka Satyagraha for Janam Jan Manch on the request of Safdar Hashmi. During his career, Habib has acted in over nine feature films, including Richard Attenborough's film, Gandhi Black and White and in a yet-to-be-released film on the Bhopal gas tragedy. His first brush with controversy came about in the 1990s, with his production of a traditional Chattisgari play about religious hypocrisy, Panga Pandit. The play was based on a folk tale and had been created by Chattisgari theatre artists in the 1930s. Though he had been producing it since the 60s, in the changed social climate after the Babri Masjid demolition, the play caused quiet and uproar amongst Hindu fundamentalists, especially the Rashtriya Swayamswak Sang RSS, whose supporters disrupted many of its shows, and even emptied the auditoriums, yet he continued to show it all over. His Chattisgari folk troupe, surprised again, with his rendition of Ashgar Wahahat's Jisni Lahore Nahin Dekya in 1992. Then in 1993 came Kamdio Ka Apna Basant Ritu Ka Sapna, Tanvir's Hindi adaptation of Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. In 1995, he was invited to the United States by the Chicago Actors Ensemble, where he wrote his only English-language play, The Broken Bridge. In 2002, he directed Zahari Lihawa, a translation of Bhopal by the Canadian-Indian playwright Rahul Varma, based on the Bhopal gas tragedy. During his illustrious career he brought works from all genres to stage, from ancient Sanskrit works by Shudraka, Basa, Vishakhadatta and Bhavabhuti, to European classics by Shakespeare, Moliere and Goldoni, modern masters Brecht, Garcia, Lorca, Gorky, and Oscar Wilde, Tagore, Ashgar Wahahat, Shankar Shesh, Safdar Hashmi, Rahul Varma, stories by Premchand, Stefan Zweig and Vijayden Ditha, apart from an array of Chattisgari folk tales. Legacy 
In 2010, at the 12th Bharat Rang Mahatsav, the annual theatre festival of National School of Drama, Delhi, a tribute exhibition dedicated to life, works and theatre of Habib Tanvir and B.V. Karanth was displayed. The 13th Bharat Rang Mahatsav opened with an Assamese adaptation of his classic play Chiranda's Chore, directed by Anu Pazarika, a NSD graduate. Plays Agra Bazaar Shatranj K. Mori Lala Shoharit Rai Midi Ki Gadi Gaon K. Naon Sasoral, Moor Naon Daman Charandas Chor Uttar Ram Charitra Bahadur Kaluran Ponga Pandit Ek Orat Hypathia B. The Jeez Lahore Nai Dekya Kamdio Ka Apna Basant Ritu Ka Sapna The Broken Bridge Zari Li Hawa Raj Rock Topic Filmography Rahi, nineteen fifty two Ramu Footpath, nineteen fifty three Charanda's Chore, nineteen seventy five Lyrics and Script Staying on, nineteen eighty TV Drive Mitra Gandhi, nineteen eighty two Indian Barrister Man Eaters of Kumon, nineteen eighty six TV Bahadur Ye Wo Manzil to Nahin, nineteen eighty seven Actor Beg Hero Hiralal, nineteen eighty eight Prahar, The Final Attack, nineteen ninety one Joe D'Souza, Father of Peter D'Souza, The Burning Season, nineteen ninety three Raja Sahib Sardar, nineteen ninety three Mongol Pandi, The Rising, two thousand five Bahadur Shah Zafar Black and White, two thousand eight Quasi Saab, Final Film Role Topic Bibliography Rang Habib Critical Appreciation of Habib Tanvir's Works, written by Sri B. R. Bhargava, published by National School of Drama, 2006 ISBN 81 8197 012 8. Tr. by Anyam Katyal. Seagull Books, 1996. ISBN 81 7046 108 1. Use of music and dance in contemporary dramatic performances The Buddhist Theatre of Tibet The Living Tale of Herma, Herma Ki Amar Kahani. Calcutta, Seagull Books, 2005. ISBN 81-7046-277-0 Janam Comes of Age by Habib Tanvir, 1988 Theatre of the Streets, The Jana Natya Manch Experience, by Arjun Ghosh, Jana Natya Mancha, edited by Sudanva Deshpan. Published by Jana Natya Manch, 2007. Gaon Knaon Theatre, More Naon Habib, Documentary Film, DIRS. Sanjay Maharishi and Sudanva Deshpand, 2005. One Day in the Life of Ponga Pandit, Documentary Film, DIRS. Sanjay Maharishi and Sudanva Deshpand, 2005. Tanvir Ka Safarnama, Documentary Film, DIR. Ranjan Kamath. 2008 <inaudible> <inaudible> Further reading On the Theatre of Habib Tanvir The Dramatic Touch of Difference, Theatre, Own and Foreign, by Erica Fisher Licht, Josephine Riley, Michael Gissenwerer. Published by Gunter Narr Verlag, 1990 ISBN 3-8233-4023-9 page 221-233. See also Theatre in India <laughs>